Hey, how are you guys doing? Today we are gonna show you the config setting in Brook Sniper app. Touch the config icon, add a new one, and choose the console you are going to play with. You will then see Custom and Elite. Custom is for setting your own config. As for Elite, there are some recommended config settings from professional players. You will then see this screen. Press the Brook logo to choose the cover picture you like. See the picture has changed. You can also name this config. Uh, suppose it's called Brook. As for the red button, okay, let's see Sniper. See, it's red light. You can press the bar to change the color. Suppose uh, we choose green. And the light on two sides of sniper is green. You can choose any color you like. And the last one, F2, which is the hot kit of this custom config. You can also set it OK, press press it, and you then see listening. Press F3 on keyboard. See, it is changed. OK, now let's move on to see the setting of mouse, keyboard, and preference. Let's see mouse first. The first one, HIP, is a mouse sensitivity in general situation. Now the value is 51. and Let's see how it reacts. The endpoint moves from the first pillar to the two short pillars. Get back to Sniper app. Press the ruler and the fingerprint to adjust the value. OK, I set it to 100. And again, you can see that the mouse is uh, moved with, move with the same distance, but the endpoint moves faster and farther. And the second one, ADS. I'm gonna do the same thing as HIP. So set it to 51. It moves like this. And when it is set to 100, and move the mouse with the same distance, the endpoint moves faster and farther, which means the sensitivity is much higher. And let's see that zone. The default value is 1, so uh, when playing it in games, there's no big difference. It's just like you played it on PC. And if we set it to 100, the endpoint starts to move early. You can try it and feel the difference. And then it's ballistics. You can change the X coordinate with the yellow line and then set the value of Y axis. You can try it and set your preferential ballistics. You can also press the reset button to reset. And it goes back to uh, the default value. Okay, next one, touch keyboard. You can start to remap. As you can see, the fire command is the left button of the mouse originally. And when you press left twice, see, it goes dark, which means the function is canceled. However, when you press it once, you'll see listening. You can then press a key on your keyboard. Suppose we press the number key 1. That means when you press number key 1 in game, you fire. And you can also change it back. Okay, just repeat the steps to set all the keys. 
And the last one is preference, which is for you to set your preferential settings. The first one is shooting speed strengthen. Now the value is 50. Let's see how you read X in game. Okay, then set it to 100. You can obviously feel the difference. Uh, as for inverted white axis, sniper brass, and anti recoil, you may try to play it to see the difference. And goes back to edit config. Remember to save the changes. You can delete the config or change the order. And remember, if you want to use your own uh, config setting, you have to choose it and load it to Sniper. And then you go back to the main page of the app. You can see that this blue config is the config you are now using. And let's take a look at the square here. The input command will be shown synchronously here. Suppose I'm now clicking the uh, left button of the mouse. See, it is uh, see it is shown here. And when I press space on keyboard, you can also see the command showing up here. Okay, now you already have some concept to uh, to set config. Why not try it yourself, and you'll know more about it. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.